Cardano's big Alonzo upgrade will bring programmability to the blockchain, according to founder Charles Hoskinson. He's going to wear a Ghostbuster costume to mark the occasion. So it's going live, well, tomorrow. And uh, so it's going to be all over IOHK. Uh, you probably want to tune in and make sure that you are <clears throat> at least watching the live. It's probably going to be a pretty big occasion. Right now, Cardano is up 14.80%, and the, the price right now is $2.71. So, doing pretty good. It is the number three market capped currency right now when it comes to cryptocurrency. Well, when, it talks to, when we're talking about cryptocurrency, it's got a $8 billion, well, $8.345 billion dollar volume and there's 32 billion ADA that is currently circulating. So um, yeah, in the last 24 hours, actually the last 24 hours now is at 15.07% at this at the time of this recording. So hey, it's gonna be big. Uh, disclaimer, you know, yeah, we're, we're all about that Cardano around this way. So I would check it out. I would at least look at it. I'm, this is no financial advice or anything like that, but you know, you might want to check it out, look at it, try to figure it out. Dude, I, I don't know. I don't really know the stuff, but I do know that uh, you got the smart contracts. There was already NFTs that were on the platform. So people can already get non-fungible tokens on, on Cardano. So, I mean, to me, I think it's going to be pretty cool when when the dApps actually come online, like when people actually put together some decentralized applications on the Cardano blockchain. And that's when I, that's when I really think that the project is really going to take off because I I really don't feel like Ethereum 2.0 is actually going to be able to keep up with Cardano because even when Ethereum 2.0 comes online, it's still not going to be really energy efficient. It's just not. So I feel like Cardano is still going to have all the cards with this one. And I think it's just the way that they did this thing because um, Vitalik, he just, I think he was just all about going hard, going fast, going quick and getting out there. Whereas Cardano, well, Chris Hos Hoskinson and his team, they really took their time and they were trying to get the best stuff from the start. And they were all about the scalability and then how were they going to be able to be relevant down the road. And also the partnerships that they have with other blockchains. I don't know, dude. Like it's to me in the long run, I think in the short run, Ethereum, when Ethereum goes to 2.0, I think a lot of people are going to be like, oh, wow, Ethereum's doing this and that. But really, when it comes to those, uh, the, the burn fees and all that type of stuff, dude, it's, it's not looking good for Ethereum. I'm really thinking that Cardano is going to be coming through pretty strong in the tail end of probably like 2023, 2024. I think that's when Cardano is going to really start to shine. I know everybody is like, oh, right now Card it's Cardano's time, but I don't know. I think I think some more applications need to be put on there. Solano is, I was seeing that they're going to actually potentially be, well, let me, let me slow up. I heard that Chris Hoskinson was saying that he potentially could work with Solano. So that's, that's big news. Um, I don't really know what, how, cryptocurrencies work together. Like I really don't know how that works. So if y'all know, let me know, please put that in the comment section below. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty good milestone for the Cardano team and the Cardano family, Cardano network. So, um, and yeah, it's just a big community, just a really big community, a lot bigger than I thought. So yeah, I'm excited. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely tune in for tomorrow. So with that being said, peace on love.